Hello and welcome back to another Prophecy HD video and today we've got another Game of the Week episode. I'm sorry for a week of uh, no videos again. Uh, it seems to be a problem that's happening quite a lot, but I have got some Birmingham career mode videos coming up very soon. And of course we've got the 12 days of Christmas starting on the 25th of December up till the 5th of January 2017. So... Bear in mind that that will be 12 videos in 12 days, and it is happening this year. Don't you worry about that one bit. Today we've got the Everton vs Liverpool game of the week, and unfortunately my normal source of BBC Sport have actually bailed out on me, and uh, they don't have the preview up yet for some reason. It is a Monday night game, so maybe that's one of the reasons why. Uh, but the preview isn't up, and I've actually left it as late as currently at the moment, 6.15 on Sunday evening. So it's actually going to be only a day until this actually game, this game actually kicks off. Uh, of course, it is the Merseyside derby, the friendly derby, if you like. Uh, but this is going to be a pretty big one because you've got Everton who are on not the most amazing bit of form, but they're eighth. And then you've got Liverpool who are currently, of course, brilliant attackively. Um, in f let me get the table up very quick just so I can read off it. Uh, then you've you sort of got a bit of a mixed bag here, haven't you? You got sort of it's it's a situation that's a bit awkward. Um, currently in the table at the moment, you've got Chelsea on top, who lead in fact by a massive six points at the moment. Still, of of course, two games and that can all change. Liverpool in third with a game in hand, they could go to second if they win tomorrow night. And then you've got Man City in second, holding that second spot at the moment. Arsenal in well. Um, Arsenal in 4th uh, Tottenham in 5th Man United in 6th Southampton push up to 8th as West Brom uh, Southampton push up to 7th as West Brom fall down to 8th and then you've got Everton in ninth at the moment uh, with the opportunity to go 7th if they win this game here today uh, the gap between 6th and 7th is already beginning to open which is quite interesting then you've got down in the bottom areas of the table Sunderland, Swansea and Hull in the relegation zone um, so, what do I think of this game? Without any statistics, without anything to go off. I mean, you know, I could go and search for some myself. In fact, let's go and do that. Everton versus Liverpool uh, results. There we go. Um, I know this is all a little, uh, a little unprofessional, but I quite like this sort of style. Almost like a podcast style commentary. So we've got on uh, the 4th of October, Everton drew Liverpool 1-1 in the Premier League. So... I'm presuming that was last year, 2015. Yes, definitely 2015. Uh, Everton drew 1-1 against Liverpool in the Premier League. The last game at Anfield, however, was the 20th of April, 2016, in which Liverpool won 4-0, which is, of course, a huge win. I remember that one now. Uh, so that's quite interesting. Uh, very interesting, in fact. Robbie Savage backed Adam Alana to score in the Merseyside derby at 12-5. Right, okay. That's a bit of a random backing there. Um, of course, you can see in the background right now, this game has induced a goal. And the goal is, of course, in the way of Liverpool with Lalana scoring said goal. So that was a decent bit of timing from that statistic there. Um, so what are my predictions? Because I've realised in the past few games of the weeks, so I've missed my predictions off on accident. My predictions? Hmm. This one is so unpredictable. It always is. Um... The one year, I remember thinking that Everton were going to really fight out hard and like Liverpool completely destroyed them and dismantled them. I was watching it on BT Sport, I think, actually, at the time. And it was an uh, unbelievable game. It was, again, a night game. I don't know why it fell on a night, but they always seem to fall on a night for some reason. And then you have, like, this is such a weird derby because it's a derby that, can go either way and it's two teams that fundamentally have been underperforming in the past few seasons uh, two teams that well you look at Everton and I do wonder are Everton actually the good side anymore like obviously they're a good side but are they the side that everyone expects a few years ago under, I remember David Moyes uh, and Roberto Martinez his first season with them they were doing really well they finished fifth with Roberto Martinez in their first season with him I think and I was thinking, right, OK, uh, Everton, solid team now. They're up and about, in and about the area of them positions. And then you've got Liverpool, who were actually doing worse than Everton at the time. Then Liverpool go and have that fantastic season under, well, SAS. Um, Suarez and Sturridge and uh, 
Sterling, of course. SIS. What did I say SIS? Was it SIS? Because there's three S's, so shouldn't it be S? SS. I remember it being SIS. Am I right? I can't. I'm really, I'm confusing myself now. <laughs> but either way, um, moving on, you can see that Everton in the FIFA 17 simulation actually get a goal here, which was very eventful. Um, <clears throat> just straight up the half time as well. So it, they draw level with a Gareth Barry goal. I've actually met Gareth Barry as well. I don't know whether I've ever mentioned that before. Like, in person. Like, well, I mean, like, it wasn't just like at the end of a game I met him. I literally met him on accident sort of thing. Um, which is a bit of an odd thing to point out. But, you know, I thought best time, better than ever now, to point that out. I would put a photo up, but, I mean, I don't really want you to see that photo because I'm in it, obviously. And if you don't see me in it, then you probably won't believe me. Or, I suppose, because I've never actually revealed my face on the channel, even if you see me in it, you'll be like, oh, you could have just grabbed that off the internet. Some kid, because I was about 12 at the time, I think. Uh, <laughs> some kid meeting Gareth Barry. Anyway, I, I completely got sidetracked then. I was on about uh, Everton and Liverpool's positions. And then suddenly Everton went on that really bad season where they finished like 12th. I think it was two seasons ago or something. Um, did they finish 12th? Was it 12th? Was that a brilliant guess? Was that a really good guess? Uh, I remember, I think they finished in a lowish position. That is, well, that was such a decent guess. They actually finished in the 2013-14 season in 11th on goal difference. So, 12th. I wasn't far off at all with that, was I? That was a pretty good guess, after all. Um, and of course, they got that position, and then the following season, uh, I'm not sure they finished the following season, let's have a look at this, it's of course last season, uh, they didn't do too well last season either, 11th again, and it was weird, because I felt like last season they had a better season, and it just sort of all collapsed around them, if you know what I mean, and then obviously this year at the moment, they're in a better position than they have been since 2013-14. And I remember 2013-14 so well. It feels like yesterday that season does. I remember that was a really good season. Um, so, are Everton really the team that we all see them as anymore? Is that is that the question? Like, like we see them like they should be doing better. But two seasons now and they've finished 11th in both of them. Are they just that mid-table obscurity? And Are they just that now? Is their team good enough? They've got Lukaku. They've got some decent players in there, obviously. Uh, players like Belassi, players like Lukaku. Baines has had his day, though, really, hasn't he now? I mean, he's still good tactically and free-kick-wise, but ultimately, I think Leighton Baines has passed his best. Uh, I don't know that's a controversial statement, but I don't think Baines is any better than he, he was a few years ago at all now. Um, and then you have Lukaku, young, talented, could have easily left in the summer, to be honest, could easily leave in January. Um, then you've got Ronald Koeman, of course, former Southampton manager, did so well with Southampton. And you've got to give credit to him and his Southampton side, and I really did like his Southampton side. They lost their best players every season, every single season, and yet they still managed to retain a very, very solid and convincing lead position, finishing in positions around 7th and 6th in them seasons. And it is creditable. It's something that Swansea haven't been able to do or replicate this year. It's something that Leicester haven't even been able to replicate after losing Kante. So this is one of them situations where Ronald Koeman, you've got to give him credit for being an incredible man, an incredible boss of that side. But then with Everton at the moment, I don't th quite think he's found his feet just yet. He needs someone else. He needs maybe a good signing somewhere. Uh, a bit of spark, and that might just push the Everton side across. Because, of course, they have gr brilliant signings like Ashley Williams, and yet I haven't actually took too much notice of Everton this year, I've got to admit. It's not a team that I've watched religiously. Uh, it's not a team that I might just catch the match of the day highlights with them or something, but I won't really take much notice. I don't know how Ashley Williams has performed right now. I really liked him at Swansea. Uh, I'm not sure how well he's performed at the moment. Uh, but that will pretty much wrap this video up. So my prediction for this very, very obscure and enigmatic game, in fact, will be 3-1 Liverpool. Uh, do I really want to say that? 3-1 Liverpool. I think both teams will score. I think it will be a Lukaku goal on the Everton side. 
Uh, but I think Liverpool will score three with such an attack of side at the moment. Then again, maybe, you know, Everton are defensively sound at the moment. We'll find out.